Hi there, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna demonstrate how to use import.io uh, to scrape data from the web and then create a D3 visualization out of it. So in this example, I'm gonna use obesity in the United States data. Um, in the wiki or article, uh, they already collected the data in the nice table format here. Uh, they have a couple of uh, uh, color plath here, but we want to create an interactive version of it uh, so user can explore the data, uh, look at it. Uh, without a scraping tool like import.io, uh, you have to manually enter this uh, data into a spreadsheet um, and then use it later. Uh, fortunately, we have a uh, uh, data scraping tool um, right now so you can just uh, use the uh, data scraping capability of imported IO so I'm just gonna create a new data set and then I'm gonna add the data and then I'm gonna say create from new source then um, we are gonna get uh, go to the imported IO uh, tool um, it's it has pretty nice instruction step by step fairly easy to use uh, so the first step I'm gonna import uh, put the web address above there um, then I'm gonna go and get the cracking uh, this one I'm gonna use you can use crawler and other connectors but this one I'm just gonna use the extractor because the data is already on the page uh, it has these magic settings that it will automatically detect uh, data on the browser for you so it's pretty nice uh, so I'm gonna use the uh, data in the table option here and then it will do its loading um, takes a while to analyze the page components and then now I'm gonna scroll to my data table notice that it gives you a nice highlight of the table so I'm gonna right click on the table uh, so it highlights everything and then I'm gonna click extract table uh, notice here it's automatically put my data in a nice format um, automatically get the headers of the table into my uh, columns headers it's a very nice feature from import.io. Uh, you can quickly extract data tables and um, manipulate the data uh, quickly. So now I'm done with my data. I'm saying I'm, I've got what I need. And then it will ask me to upload it to import.io, uh, which I will gladly do so. I'm going to save it as US obesity data set. I'll click OK. Once I'm done, it's going to open a new tab with my data table. Um, show me the data. OK. And it takes a couple seconds to load. Now I have the data in a nice table format here. Um, and uh, I'm going to export it to a CSV since that's the format that is easily used uh, by many uh, data visualization software, including beta.io. So I'm going to go with usobicity.csv. Uh, it should save my data uh, on my desktop. Now, let's make the visualization. Um, I'm going to go to vita.io slash d3map. Uh, this is a collection of uh, map uh, choropleth provided by uh, vita.io. So in this example, I'm going to use the uh, US state map. I'm going to clone this into my own account. And then I'm going to change it to obesity in the United States. And then... Uh, Overview, the description is overview of obesity by states. Okay, uh, by default, uh, Vita.io uh, Coral Plath Map has 
uh, population data. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload my uh, newly extracted US obesity uh, data set. And it will refresh. Uh, B.io will automatically convert it to a JSON format that is uh, easier to view uh, and uh, manipulate. So I'm going to save my data right here. And then uh, I'm going to come over to the property section because I need to reset my uh, columns and fields with the new data. I'm going to pick this state and district of Columbia at my map state. So you can see here Alabama, Alaska, Arizona. And then uh, for the first number, I'm going to just look at the obese adults number. So I'm going to select that. And voila! Uh, now I have a new uh, map that will show me uh, the uh, obesity chloroplast in the United States. I can also select other fields here. Overweight include obese adult number. Uh, it will update the map right away. Um, children, uh, adolescents. Uh, so I can quickly create my chloroplast right here. Um, so I'm just going to stay with this number. So that's it for my map and I can it's interactive. I can hover on the state to see uh, the number right away. Uh, I believe this is number per 10,000 people. So that's it. That's how easy it is to scrape the data using import.io and create new Coroplath visualization on Vida.io. That's it for the tutorial. Uh, comment if you have any questions. Thanks.